Hi everyone, it's Wisdom Wednesdays. I'm Ariana Newcomer and I'm back. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus these last few weeks. You may not know, I live in central, northern central California and we have had huge fires here recently and I have needed to take some time out of recording these uh, inspirational things for you because I needed to rest and restore. We actually live about about 15 miles from the edge of the fire that was near us and so we were on high alert to evacuate and <laughs> so <sighs> we are fine now we're feeling safe and fire season isn't over so uh, asking for your intentions for us to remain safe here on the sacred land where I live. And in our Wise Women Immersion class yesterday, um, the women were talking about how hard it is to hold on to our centeredness, to stay grounded, to continue to believe that actually the changes that we need can be made, that we can do what needs to be done so that we can continue to have a planet we can actually live on. And I, I really hear that. It is hard. It's hard for any of us who are really in this place of being in the work of trying to create the new world, of trying to move the great shift, the expansion of human consciousness so that we can return to and be even better at being part of the web of life instead of thinking ourselves superior. So we were in our partnership with nature module of the Wise Woman Immersion and talking about <clears throat> excuse me, allergies, how the dominator culture affects the way that we respond to nature. But bringing ourselves back into that right relationship with nature, which many people had in ancient times, is crucial. And not only because it puts us into the place where then we can make the changes we have to make as a human species, but also because it is central to our being able to come back to that grounded and centered place. We were talking about forest bathing, which is something that they do in Japan. They recognize that walking in the forest is doing a beautiful healing to us. Bathing in the energies of the forest is incredibly healing to us as human beings. Many of us don't live near a forest anymore. I do. I am grateful to live in a forest that is not burned. <laughs> and, um, but that web of life in the forest, and it's not just the trees, but it's every aspect of life that is a forest that creates this wonderful energy that really nourishes us and supports us. And so we did a meditation in the class to, to help us bring, bring ourselves into that energy of the forest, which is actually available to us, even through our imagination in the imaginal realm with our subtle senses. So even when we don't live right in the forest, near the forest, as some of us do, we can still access those energies of the forest which really help to bring us into that more calm and centered place, help us slow down because the time of trees is much slower than our time. So it's very calming and nourishing and healing. And we also in our meditation sent out this energy of the forests out into all of humanity on earth. We always do a practice called subtle activism in every class in the Wise Women Immersion, which is our way of bringing our own inner work and the inner coherence, our inner wisdom, our 
inner ability to connect to our subtle senses, to our higher and deeper and greater self um, into the world so that we can contribute. And there are many and many and many, many and many of us doing this work in the world. Um, David Nichol, who's one my mentor as far as subtle activism is concerned, and his wife, Kate, have created a series that they are doing called The Battle, I think it's called The Battle of America, <laughs> where they are sending out calmness and centeredness and love into the collective for the election here in the U.S. And we can do that in biofield tuning when I'm doing a distance session with a client I'm connecting with the client's essence through the ethers through the subtle realms and ether is another state of matter we don't generally learn that in physics in school but it's the sort of very fine state before something becomes matter and this is how we connect and so we do we can do this work of connecting with each other and sending out the kinds of energies we want to see more of in the world consciously collectively together and it actually does have an effect so we were reminding ourselves of this in class yesterday and we also connected with all of those other beings on earth that are doing this work and reminded ourselves that we are legion we can feel very alone as spiritual people as light workers as people uh, who tend perhaps to, to disengage from politics and the media um, and i would say i've said this before and i would say it again this is spiritual bypassing we have to be active in the collective to do the work that we all need to do at this time. We can't just remove ourselves and sit on our meditation cushion. So subtle activism is one of the ways that you can do that if it's not for you to go marching in the streets. So what I have to offer you today is that in spite of that feeling that oh, it's just getting worse, we think it can't get any worse, and then it gets worse. Ugh. And how are we going to untangle this web of deceit and lies and, and craziness and, uh, and come into the kind of expanded consciousness and, and higher and deeper consciousness that we need to have in order to have things work? And this little exercise that I'm offering you today is a way to connect with all those who are doing this work on the planet and all of our allies from the subtle realms. You need to know that the trees are with us. Trees are incredible beings and they are absolutely working with us in this context. And trees have their own magic. They have their own ways of communicating. They have their own essence. And we can connect with that and we help each other. We can pass energy back and forth so that we're assisting each other. So just quickly, I invite you to just close your eyes, take some deep breaths, a few breaths, nothing to do but just consciously slow and deepen the breath. This is our number one go-to to help ourselves come into a more calm and centered state. To calm down sympathetic fight or flight nervous system and come into the calm and centered parasympathetic nervous system. Deep breaths, the movement of the diaphragm into the belly, I've talked about this a lot helps to activate the vagus nerve to move us into that parasympathetic system. <sighs> Consciously slowing and deepening our breath. And I invite you to keep your eyes closed. If you want to continue to look at me, that's fine. But placing a hand on your heart, 
placing your other hand on your belly. As you continue to consciously slow and deepen your breath, expand your awareness to connect. Hold the intention to connect in this imaginal realm, in the realm of the ether, with all those other beings on earth who are assisting us at, these, at this time, in these times. And begin to notice the sparks of light that are all these beings and notice that they are all around the earth everywhere everywhere on earth. They are also in the oceans, so it isn't just the trees on land. Also, we have allies in the oceans. And we have allies in the human species, everywhere on earth, everywhere. So breathe in and notice now that there's a connection. There's a connection between all of us, and we can call it the red thread. Let's think of it as the red thread. Some of my mentors have used this metaphor that there's a red thread of all the work that we have to do, and that each of us is only responsible for our, our own piece of the red thread. But let's look at that in our mind's eye and see all of our red threads connecting connecting to trees, connecting to uh, beings in the oceans, connecting to beings under earth, the fungi, the mycelial networks, connecting to beings of the air, the birds, the winds, the elementals, connecting with any of our other allies in the subtle realms who are willing and able to assist us in these times fairies and fae, the devas and guardians of the land where each of us is, of the forests, of the oceans. <sighs> and now imagine, again using our imagination, imagine yourself in a forest, whatever kind of forest is your favorite, whatever you most resonate with, or even just one that's completely imaginal. And notice how thick the web is of the red threads in the forest. And as we continue to breathe, remember that with the trees and the plants, as we inhale them, the carbon dioxide that they give off, I'm sorry, the oxygen they give off. We inhale the oxygen they give off and we exhale the carbon dioxide that they take in. We are breathing each other. Breathe in the forest energies and exhale the return to the plants in the forest and feel this connection as we breathe each other. As you accept this healing, calming, beautiful forest bathing energy <sighs> that helps us to slow down, that helps us to shift our perspective out of it's just getting worse, it's only getting worse, there's nothing we can do to what else is possible? How can this be better? How can I better receive this energy from all my allies on earth, under earth, above earth to help me create more inner coherence so that I can radiate out coherence so that I can be part of creating the solution of radiating out coherence, partnership energy partnerism, alliance with nature, partnership with nature, recognition of our interbeing, how we are interwoven in this web of life and how we can assist 
the web so that all the web can do better, which is what the forest does. As we come into this awareness and alignment with and partnership with the forests, with the beings of the oceans, beings of the air, elementals, all of our allies in the subtle realms. <sighs> breathing in and breathing out, coming back into center, coming into that greater inner coherence, that energetic coherence and alignment that not only helps us, but helps us radiate that out into the world, into everywhere. I'm taking a moment now to follow this red thread all over the earth and acknowledge and appreciate all of those in this web, sending appreciation out the red threads to the hearts of all of those beings who are in this work with us. You are not alone. We are legion. <laughs>